this happens to be our very first class. So I just want you, I want to introduce you all to the BHC of vacation tuition, where there's an initiative from the BHC executive to you. I would encourage that you take it very seriously because um, probably some of the questions you may be asking next semester, you may be able to access today so that um, probably next semester will be easy and for you to also take other courses next semester. Remember that the BAJC has a lot of packages for you next semester. So we are just trying to um, reduce the stress you will go through next semester, all right? So take this course seriously. In case you miss any of the classes, remember that the YouTube channel is available. We are sharing it on our pages and platforms. Let me just go to, let me share my screen quickly and show you how you can do that. Just go to, um, just go to YouTube. Uh, I believe you can see my screen. Just go to your web browser, search for the BAJCR. Um, just type the business house in your common room. Okay, so that's it. Just type the business house in your common room. You'll see the BAJCR. You subscribe to it. So that's the business house in your room. Every lecture will be uploaded there. All right, we have 1.6K followers as of now. So do subscribe so that um, whenever a video is uploaded, you'll be able to see and watch. Also, um, also um, our, our teachers for today, well, I'll introduce him shortly. Uh, we usually call him Master Easy. I can see, you can see someone in the co-host Yes, that's Master Easy. And you'll be taking us through the course. If, if you're a volunteer here, kindly put up your hand so that I make you a co-host. If you're a volunteer here, who is going to help with the recording, kindly put your hand up and let me make you a co-host. All right, since there's no one, let's proceed. So, uh, Master Easy, good morning. Good morning, Eben. How are you doing? I'm blessed yesterday. All right, so since Master Ize is here, um, I'll just leave everything to him so that he commences the class. But in case you have any questions, you can ask quickly so that he starts the class. In case you have any question, in case you have any question, kindly. Yeah. Unmute, unmute your mics unless you have a noisy background. If you do have a noisy background, kindly mute your mic. Please, how are we doing? We are fine. It's very special. Was an introductory session and um Eben, your hand is up. Yes, I want to pause this brief in case you are here and you can help me with the recording as well as coordinate the activities here. That uh, in case someone is making noise, you can un unmute the person. Can you put up your hand and let me get focus? Any volunteer around? Okay, Frank, Frank, Frank is around. Please keep your hand up. This is the Frank's menu. Chikata or okay? Chikata. Please keep your hand up, all right? So that I can see. Okay. So I've made your approvals, you can lower your hand. All right. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Master Easy. You can proceed. Welcome, bro. All right. So um, before we start the class, I would like for people to tell us what they know about accounting. So, so I need four people to 
introduce the course to us. Tell us what you know about accounting. All right, so kindly raise your hand if you are in. Um, Doris. Doris. Please unmute your mic and talk. Doris. Okay, Frank, tell us what you know about accounting, Frank. Frank Chikata. Wow. And it's working. Good morning. Good morning, Reginald. Good morning, bro. Uh, so um, what I know about accounting is actually didn't offer accounting in junior high. So when I heard it, and then so now what I thought it means is the quantitative information about finances and then their relationship, which deals with account statements and then the annual report of business finances, basically. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, that's great. All right. Please, any other person, Dominic, I see you. Dominic. Yeah, yeah yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Please, um, account. That statement so that they can make an informed decision. Very good, very good. Daniel. Danielle, your hand is up. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. So what I know about accounting is that accounting um, um, like came about because people needed to record business transactions and know how much they owed and then they owe. OK. OK, that's fine. That's great. All right. So. By the end of, or at the end of this session, you should be able to one, identify and explain the meaning and purpose of accounting. Two, understand the accounting process. Three, identify the subfields of accounting. Four, explain the types of business organizations. Five, identify the users of accounting information. And then six, explain the Names or kinds of financial statements and their purposes. All right, so let's start with what is accounting? Mm -hmm. So you see, accounting is an English word, all right, with ing attached. So accounting is account plus ing. You see, we can have a verb work, all right, and the moment we add ing to work, it becomes verb in process or a continuous verb. All right, so we can have walking. So walking would become a process of, all right? We can have eating. Eating is a process of. So here too, we have what? We have accounting, all right? So the moment you see that ing is added to a certain verb, you should know that that verb has certain processes involved. So here we have accounting. So what at all is accounting? We define accounting as the process of. So after stating the process of, you should know that you have what? We have various stages or various processes involved. So we define accounting as the process of one, collecting, recording, summarizing, Analyzing and reporting. All right, accounting is the process of collecting, recording, summarizing, analyzing, and reporting financial information about an entity to the users of the information, aid them in making economic decisions. All right, so now we know all the processes involved. All right, so we know the processes to be collecting. So as an accountant, you would first collect or you, you would first be provided with something or with a data. And based on the data, you would record. And after recording, you would summarize. After summarizing, you would analyze. 
and then you report. All right. So you see, the first stage is collecting. All right. So you'll be given a financial data. All right. And then you would be required to take the data through certain processes. So after taking the financial data through certain processes, it then becomes financial information. All right. So you collect the data, you record, you summarize, you analyze. And after analyzing, it then becomes financial information. So you then report financial information. Information is defined as a processed data. So after taking data through certain processes, it becomes information, all right? And the information is supposed to be about or must pertain to certain entity. So we report the information about an entity to the users of the information. And the users would base on the information to make economic decisions. All right, so the purpose of accounting is to provide information about an economic entity to decision makers. All right, and it's because the users of the information based on the information to make certain economic decisions. All right, and in, in defining accounting, in defining accounting, we encountered certain keywords. All right, so we know the processes already. We know the collecting, we know the recording, summarizing, analyzing, and reporting. All right, we'll go through all of them. But then let's go through the keywords in defining accounting. So in the definition of accounting, you have the processes of what, 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 and reporting financial information. So now the first question would be, what at all is financial information about an entity? So you have to talk about the particular entity, and then you have to be introduced to the to the users of accounting information. So keywords in the definition of accounting, we have one, financial information, all right? And financial information is an information about an entity's financial activities. Financial information is an information about an entity's financial activities. All right, and it is reported in a financial statement. If you want to, if you want to know the financial, or if you want to know information about a firm's financial activities, then you would have to go through the entities or the firm's financial statement. So after reading the firm's financial statement, you would get the information about the firm's financial activities. All right, and we also met an entity. So the particular entity here is the business entity. So here we're talking about business entity. And then we have the users of the information. They are the other entities to whom the financial information is intended to serve. All right. So please note that as an accountant, you would always be given a financial data and you'll be required to take the data through certain processes. Please, I hope you are all writing. Hello. Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes, right. sir. Yes, right. Yes, right. Great, great. Right. Yes, All right. It's okay. All right, so as an accountant, you would first be given financial data so you would collect the financial data, all right? And after collect, so you will call, the financial data would be in the form of source document, or the financial data would, would serve as an evidence that the transaction really occurred, all right? So you would be given the financial data. You would collect the financial data. And after getting the financial data, you record, you record the transaction. You see the financial data, shows that the transaction really occurred, all right? After getting the financial data, you then record the transaction into the firm's books. All right, so after getting the financial data, you record transaction in the firm's books. And after recording, you summarize. After summarizing, you analyze. 
Amazing. Please, if if you have a noise background, kindly mute yourself, please. Pikata, kindly check them for me. If you have a noisy background, please mute yourself. And after analyzing, you then report, all right, about an entity. So you report the information about an entity. And I've gotten to know that the entity here is a business entity, all right? And then we report to the users and the users will base on the information to make economic decisions. All right, so you trying to read accounting is like someone wanting to go to another country. All right, so let's assume that you've never done accounting before. So if you want to go to another country, you would first have to be introduced to what they do there. All right, so here in accounting, the country is accountancy or the profession is accountancy. All right, and the people, in accountancy, do accounting, all right? And the citizens are called accountants, all right? So we can have the country to be Ghana and we have the citizens being called Ghanaians, all right? So we have accountancy as the country or as the profession, all right? And then, Please, I hope you are recording. Yes, sir. Good. We have we have accountancy as the profession, all right? And we have the people in there as accountants. And what do they do? They do accounting, all right? And please know that if you want to go to another country, the first thing, after getting to know what they do there, the other thing you'd want to know is the various fields or the various regions, all right? So let's assume that we have someone in Togo wanting to come to Ghana, all right? So after the person getting to know what we do in Ghana, this, that, the person would also be interested in knowing the various regions in Ghana, all right? So if you want to do accounting, after getting to know what accountants do and everything, you would also be interested in knowing the various regions or the subfields of accounting. All right, so under the subfields, we have one, financial accounting. All right, so financial accounting is a subfield or it's a sub region in accounting. All right, so like, when you come to you see, when you come to Ghana, we have Greater Accra region, we have Ashanti region, and all. When you come to accountancy, we have financial accounting. All right, and financial accounting is the field that serves external decision makers. So, under financial accounting, we report to external decision makers. So the first subfield of accounting is financial accounting. And then number two, we have management accounting. So management accounting is accounting for managers or management. All right, so financial accounting is for external decision makers. Management accounting is for internal. All right, management accounting is for internal decision makers. So we have financial accounting, we have management accounting, we have cost accounting. All right, we have cost accounting, which deals with the collection and allocation and control of costs of production or services. So we have financial accounting, we have management accounting, we have cost accounting, we have taxation. All right, that's proper accounting for incomes and expenditures of taxable entities. And then we have auditing. That's giving independent assurance as to the true and fair view of the companies or the firm's financial reports. And the last one is accounting for government. That's public sector accounting. So we have financial accounting, 
we have management accounting, we have cost accounting, we have taxation, we have auditing and public sector accounting. So kindly note that under the subfields of accounting or the subfields of accounting, we have six. We have financial accounting, we have management accounting, we have cost accounting, we have taxation, we have auditing, and then we have public sector accounting. Please, I hope you're all following. Yes. Great. Yes, sir. Great. All right. So let's then go through the keywords. You see, under the keywords of accounting, the first keyword we encountered was um, financial information. All right. And we've got to know that financial information is an information about a firm's financial activities. All right. And we've got to realize that financial information of a firm is always reported in the firm's financial statement. So if you want to know the financial information about an entity, you just go through the entity's financial statement. All right. So let's then talk about financial statement. So we define financial statement as a statement prepared to provide information about the firm's financial performance, financial position, and cash flow. So financial statement is a statement prepared to provide information about financial performance, financial position, and cash flow of a business entity. Right, and after going, so you see the um, the financial information is reported in financial statement. And when you come to financial statement, we have a section of the financial statement giving us information about the firm's financial performance. We have a section of financial statement giving us information about the firm's financial position, and we also have the um, a section of the financial statement giving us information about the, ent uh, the entity's cash flows. All right. So, meaning under the financial statement, we have various components. All right. And they all sum up to make the financial statement. All right. And they give, they give out the entity's financial information. All right. Or they give to the users the financial information about the particular entity. So now let's go through the component of financial statement. So in the financial statement of a company, we have the income statement. All right, we define financial statement as a statement that shows information about financial performance. So we would have statement of financial performance. It also shows information about financial position. So we have statement of financial position, all right? It also shows information about cash flow. So we have statement of cash flow, all right? So statement of financial performance is also known as income statement. Statement of financial performance is the same as income statement. And it is prepared it is prepared to provide information on the firm's financial performance. All right. The income statement is prepared to provide information about the entity's financial performance. And then we have statement of financial position, all right, which is also known as the balance sheet. So the statement of financial position provides information about the firm's financial position. And then we also have cash flow statement or statement of cash flow, which shows information about the firm's cash flows. And then we have statement of changes in equity. All right, which shows information about the changes in equity. Then we have 
note. So after writing up all the four statements, we attach with note. So we have income statement, we have SOFP, which is the statement of financial position, we have cash flow statement, we have statement of changes in equity, and we have notes. So can you note that in all, we have five components of financial statement. We have five components of financial statement. We can go over again. Financial statement is a statement that is prepared to provide information about financial performance, financial position, and cash flow of an entity. All right. So the final the statement can be any statement at all. But here we are talking about financial statement. All right. So we can also say financial statement provides information about the firm's financial activities. All right. And we have parts of the firm's financial um, statement showing information about financial performance. Financial performance is also part of the firm's financial activities. We have financial position, which is also a component of the firm's financial activities. And we have cash inflows and outflows. All right. So under the component, we have the income statement, which is the same as statement of financial performance. All right. And we can also say is the statement of profit or loss. So we have income statement, we have statement of financial position, we have cash flow statement, we have statement of changes in equity, all right, and then we have notes. Please, do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Sir. All right. So let's start with the statement of financial position. The statement of financial position shows the firm's financial position at a point in time, all right, or as a specific date. All right, a statement of financial position shows or provides information about the firm's financial position as at a specific date, all right, and it summarizes the entity's assets, liabilities, and equity at a particular point in time. All right, so when we talk about assets, assets are the economic resources, all right, or they are the properties that generate economic benefits for a given entity. All right, so now you've gotten to know that the SOFP or the statement of financial position summarizes the firm's assets, the firm's liabilities, and what equity. All right. So we have assets, which is the um, which is economic resources that generate economic benefits for an entity. All right. So assets are resources that generate benefits. And the asset in the firm or the asset in the entity are financed by other entities or the assets are contributed by other entities. All right. So we are now, you see, now we've got to know that the SOFP summarizes assets, liabilities, and equity. So now we've gotten to know about assets. Now we've gotten to know that assets are the economic resources that generates economic benefit. All right. Assets are economic resources that generate economic benefit for a particular entity. And assets are contributed by other two entities. All right. So assets are or contributed or financed by, we have one, liabilities and two equity assets are financed by liabilities and equity all right so liabilities gives and um, sorry liabilities give or contribute assets to the firm but with liabilities the firm would have a payback obligation 
with liabilities, the firm would be required to pay back. But with equity, the firm has no payback obligation. So we define SOFP as a statement that shows the relationship between the firm's assets and the claims or the contributors of the assets. Please, you understand. So we have assets and the claims. So at any point in time, the value of assets must be equal to the value of claims. So assets are the resources or the properties that generate benefits for the firm. And the assets are contributed by equity. That's the source with payback obligation. And we have, sorry, liabilities. That's the source with payback obligation. And equity, that's the source with no payback obligation. All right. So um, for instance, whatever you have on you, whatever property you have on you is your asset. All right. So your phone is your asset. Your bag is your asset. Your cash is your asset. All right. And your phone, your bag, your cash, your everything is fi are financed by. We can have a source with payback obligation. When you borrow from a friend, you will still have the asset all right, but then you'll be required to pay back. All right. Or we have equity. When your parent gives to you, you would have no payback obligation. When you buy something for yourself, you would have no payback obligation. All right. So you can get assets for yourself. You can get shoes for yourself. You can get bags for yourself. And since you are buying it for yourself, you'd have no payback obligation. When your parent pays your fees and your mom or your dad pays your fees, you have no payback obligation. All right. But the moment you take loan to pay your fees, you would have a payback obligation. The moment you contract a loan to buy phone, you would have a payback obligation. All right. So when you contract a loan to buy phone, you would say the phone is financed by loan. So you would have a payback obligation. All right. So at any point in time, the value of assets must be equal to the value of claims over the assets. So in the SOFP, we have assets, we have liabilities, and we have equity. So SOFP shows the information about the firm's assets, the firm's liabilities, and the firm's equity. So these are the elements of SOFP. So another element of SOFP, we have assets, we have liabilities, and we have equity. Kindly write them. With elements of SOFP, we have assets, we have liabilities, and we have equity. And at any point in time, the value of assets must be equal to the summation of the values of liabilities and equity. So at any point in time, assets must be equal to liabilities plus equity. All right. So it shows the relationship between the firm's assets and the claims over the assets. All right. And then we have the income statement. We have the income statement which shows the firm's financial performance over a period of time. The income statement shows the entity's financial performance over a period of time. So here, it is a periodic statement. You see, the SOFP is as at or at a point in time, all right? But the income statement is for a period of time. So you can have half a year, we can have one year and all, all right? But the SOFP is asked at a particular date or a certain date, all right? So with the income statement too, we say it summarizes the revenues and expenses of an entity over time, all right? It summarizes the revenues and expenses. It summarizes the revenues and expenses of an entity over time. 
to the SOFP shoes or the please note that SOFP is statement of financial position. The SOFP shows the relationship between assets and claims. So we have assets which we have assets which are the economic resources and we have claims which are liabilities and equity. All right. So the value of assets must always be equal to the summation of the values of equity and liabilities. So we have assets equals equity plus liabilities. We have assets equals equity plus liabilities. All right. And, should, and then the income statement summarizes the firm's incomes and expenses or the firm's revenues and expenses. All right. So as a kid, your parents would be always providing for you. They would always provide for you. All right. But it would get to a time you would have to be providing for yourself as well. So when you build up an entity or when you build up a firm, the owner would first provide for the firm. All right. And it would get to a time the firm would have to work and generate revenue. All right. And in the course of generating revenue, the firm may incur expenses. All right. So if you want to know the firm's financial performance, you check the input and what? And outcome. All right, so the input is the amount or is the expense you are incurring. All right, so you incur expense to buy goods. So you have input, all right? And output is what you are selling. And outcome is what you would gain or what you would earn. All right, so as a student, your input your input is the number of hours you set up to study, all right? And your output is what you would write during your exam and your outcome is your result, all right? So always your outcome must outweigh your input. Or else we can write an exam and someone would get a B or someone would get a C and that person would really be happy. Hey, may not see. And it's because none input no form. All right. So instead of using two hours to learn, the person used 30 minutes to learn. So if you use 30 minutes to learn and get a C, you would still be okay. All right. But someone could use four hours to learn and get a B. That person would really be disappointed. That's why. All right, so if you want to know your performance, if you want to know your performance, what you do is you match your outcome against your input. All right, and if your outcome outweighs your input, then yeah, yeah. All right, but then if your input outweighs your outcome, then it means you're making losses, you're incurring losses. All right, and to maximize, to maximize profits or to maximize outcome, you have to cut off expenses. All right, so you, we've gotten to know about SOFP, we've gotten to know about income statements. And, and now we know that in the income statement, you have information about revenues and expenses. All right, so in the income statement, you have revenues and expenses to be the element. So elements of income statement are, revenues and expenses. Elements of income statement are revenue and expenses. All right. And since we are going through the fundamental, we'll be looking at we'll be looking at the income statement and SOFP in detail. All right. But the with the other statements You wouldn't be tackling the other statement this semester, or you didn't be tackling the other statement to level 200. That's the cash flow statement, the changes in equity and notes. All those are for level 300. But kindly note that whenever you are asked to list the various components, 
you add them. All right, so when you are asked to list the various components, you know that you have the SOFP, you have the income statement, you have the cash flow statement, you have the statement of changes in equity, and you have notes. All right, but at this level, we'll be looking at the two main ones, which are the SOFP and the income statement. All right, that's why we are spending much time on the SOFP and income statement. All right, but for the cash flow and the rest, kindly note that when you are asked to list the components, you just add them. Please, do you get me? Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. You wouldn't? Yeah. Yes, please. Time. Great. Yes, so we wouldn't waste time going through them. We wouldn't waste time going through them in detail. So when you are asked to list the components, you know that we have SOFP, we have income statement, you have cash flow statement, you have statement of changes in equity, and we have notes. All right. But then at this level, we'll be looking at just the income statement and the SOFP. All right, so that's that for financial information. So now I've gotten to know about financial information. We've gotten to know that financial information is an information about an entity's financial activities. All right, and the components are income statement, you have SOFP, you have statement of cash flow, statement of changes in equity and notes. All right, and under the element, we pick the element from the two main components. The two main components are the income statement and the SOFP. All right, so with the element of financial position, now we've gotten to know that we have three elements under the SOFP, whilst we have what, two elements under the income statement. So in all, we have five elements of financial statement. So please note the differences. We have five components of financial statement and we have five elements of financial statement. Please, the components are not the same as elements. We have five components and we have five elements. Under the component, we have the income statement, you have statement of financial position, you have statement of cash flow, you have statement of changes in equity, and we have notes. And under the element, you have the three elements under SOFP and we have two, two elements under income statement making five elements so under the elements we have assets we have liabilities we have equity we have revenue and we have expenses all right so under elements of financial statement we have assets we have liabilities we have equity we have revenue and expenses Please, any question? Please go right again. All right. One more time, sir. Please, can you explain the revenue for me? Okay, sure. You see, in the in the under the, sorry under the um, component under the component, we've gotten to know that the two main ones are the SOFP, that is the statement of financial position, and the income statement. All right, the statement of financial position shows the relationship between the firm's assets and the claims over the assets. All right, and now we've agreed that the claims contribute assets to the firm. So at any point in time, the value of assets must always be equal to the value of claims. So we have assets equals liabilities and equity. So under SOFP, we have three elements. An income statement provides information about the firm's financial performance. All right, and to determine the financial performance, we have revenue and expenses. All right, we define revenue as the inflow of economic benefits as a result of the firm's financial activities. All right, so as, as a result of the firm's activities, Whatever comes to the firm, whatever the firm earns is the firm's revenue. All right. So revenue is what the entity works for. So you work for revenue. Revenue is what you work for. All right. And in any revenue, you incur expense. 
All right. So, so you can buy something um, 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 with cash of, let's say, 5,000 and sell it for 8,000. So you bought the thing for 5,000. In getting revenue of 8,000, you see, you buy the thing for 5,000 and selling it at 8,000. So in any revenue of 8,000, you incurred expense of 5,000. So if you want to know your performance, you less the expense from the revenue. Or if you want to determine your performance, you less expense from revenue. So the determinants of financial performance are revenue and expenses. When you less expense from revenue, you would get to know your financial performance. All right. Please do you understand. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes. Any other question? Any other question? No, sir. All right. All right. So now we are through with Dorothy. Your hand is up. Um, sir, please, can you list the five components again? The components are income statement, statement of financial position, statement of cash flow, statement of changes in equity and notes. Thank the you. Income statement, statement of financial position, statement of cash flow, statement of changes in equity and notes. So now we are through with financial information. All right, so let's hit on the entity. You see, as an accountant, you'll be providing the financial information about an entity. So let's talk about the particular entity. So the entity here is what? The entity here is a business entity or a business organization. All right, so as an accountant, you'll be required to prepare the financial information about a business organization or a business entity. All right, so a business organization or a business entity is an entity that is established to undertake business activities. It is an entity that is established to undertake business activities. Business organization is an entity or is an organization that is established to undertake business activities. All right, and business entities are classified by one profit motive. They are classified by one. So we can classify business entities based on profit motive. So under profit motive, we have profit making organization and non profit making organization. All right, and then we have ownership. We can also classify business based on ownership and we can classify business based on what they do that's activities so business can be classified by one profit motive two ownership and three activities so let's go through them so profit motive and a profit motive we have profit oriented organizations all right, they are the businesses that are set up with the sole aim of making profit. So under profit motive organizations, we have business that are set up with the aim of making profit. And we have non-profit organizations. We have non-profit organizations under which we have governmental and non-governmental. All right, so we have profit-making organization and we have non-profit-making organization. And a non-profit-making organization, we have governmental organizations. That's the public sector entities. And we have non-governmental. The non-governmental are the um, clubs, the... Um, um, any example of non-governmental organizations? 
you have a family. Amnesty. Very good. What again? A cross of folk. Game crash. All right. So we have the churches. All right. And oh, so under profit motive, we have the profit oriented organization. And we have non profit making organizations. So kindly note that as an accountant, you can be asked to prepare financial statement. You can be asked to provide financial information about profit making organization. You can be asked to provide financial information about non profit making organization. And a non profit making organization, we have the governmental and non governmental. All right. And then we have based on activities classifying business based on activities. So under activities, we have one manufacturing business. All right, so with manufacturing business, that's where we, we get our raw materials, we turn them into finished products and then we sell to customers. So here the business will be producing or yeah, will be making the goods itself and then sell to customers. So such businesses mostly have the, um, the factory and warehouse. So after preparing the, or after manufacturing the goods at the factory, they would then transport the goods from the factory to the warehouse to be sold. So under activities, we have manufacturing. We have manufacturing business. We have two. Um, we have merchandising business, all right? And merchandising business is where we purchase goods for resale, all right? So purchase goods from other businesses and then we sell to customers. So we have, we can classify business based on activities and under activities, we have manufacturing, we have merchandising. And the last one is service business or service rendering all right so we can also choose to render service than what goods like i'm doing here i'm rendering service to you all right so we can classify business based on profit motive we can classify business based on what they do or based on activities and we can also classify business based on ownership all right so let's go through the ownership. And so with types of business based on ownership, we have one, sole proprietorship, all right? And then we have partnership and we have company. So sole proprietorship is a business formed by one person, all right? And partnership is the association of two or more individuals forming a business with the aim of making profit. And then we have company. That's any legal entity that's registered under the Companies Act. All right, so with under ownership, we have sole proprietorship. We have partnership and we have company. All right, so these are the features or characteristics of the sole proprietorship. So the person bears all profit, I'm sorry, the person enjoys all profit and bears all losses, unlimited liability, what, 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 what. So these are the features of sole proprietor, all right? And then we have features of partnership. We have features of companies. All right, I kindly note that we are doing accounting. All right, so our main focus is on the accounting aspect, not the characteristics, not the law, not the what's what. We are doing accounting. That's why I'm skipping all these slides. All right, but then whenever you are asked to list the features or whatever, you can list any of these. All right, so we can classify business based on ownership, based on activity, and based on profit motive. So on the profit, you have profit-oriented organization, you have non-profit motive organization. 
And the activity, we have merchandising, we have manufacturing, and then we have service rendering. And, and the ownership, we have sole proprietorship, we have partnership, and we have companies. All right, and why business need accounting information? Why business need accounting information? So as an accountant, you can be asked to provide information about a sole proprietorship form of business ownership. You can be asked to prepare financial information about partnership, about company, about manufacturing, about service rendering, about nonprofit organizations and all, all right? So sole proprietorship need accounting information for tax collection purposes, lending purposes and what? business valuation purposes. We have that of partnership and we have that of companies. All right, so now we've gotten to know about financial information. We've gotten to know about the entity, all right? And you see in defining accounting, we encountered three key words. The first one was financial information. The second one, um, entity. The last one was uses of accounting information. All right, so now let's go through the uses of accounting information. So under the users, we have internal users and then we have external users. Internal users are for the people in the firm or the people in the We've gotten to know about the entity, so I wouldn't be using entity, entity, entity now. I'll be using either firm or organization. All right. So when I talk of, or whenever I say organization, you should know that I'm talking about the entity. All right. So as an accountant, you provide information pertaining to an entity, and I've gotten to know that the entity here is a business entity. All right. So under the users, we have internal users. And under internal users, we have management. Please write them. Under internal users, we have management. We have employees. I am adding more, so kindly write. We have management. We have employees. We have board of directors. management, employees, board of directors. We have internal auditors. We have management, we have employees, we have board of directors, we have internal auditors and ETC. Then we have external users. We have internal users and we have external users. And external users, we have owners. All right, we have owners. Please note that the owner is not part of the business. The owner is not, even though the owner provides for the firm, the owner is not part of the business. The owner is not part of the business. So under external users, we have owners, we have creditors, we have customers, we have government, we have trade unions, <clears throat> we have the public, and we have external auditors. Under external users, we have owners, we have creditors, we have customers, we have government, we have trade unions, and we have external auditors.
All right, Bright, your hand is up. Yes, please. Good morning, sir. Good morning, bro. Yeah, sir, please, I want to ask a question. Um, sure. pertaining the external users. Um, why is it that um, why an accountant want to audit or want to prepare an account? Now, the owner of the business is treated separately. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I want Pardon? to ask one. Um, why is um, the owner of the business treated separately from the business? Because the owner is not part of the firm. All right. When, when your parent gives birth to you, your parent is not part of you. All right. Even though they would provide for you, even though the owners provide for the firm, the owners are not part of the firm. All right. So the owners are separated from the firm. So whenever you take from the firm, you, you, if you are an owner of a firm, whenever you take, you have to pay back. The owner is not part of the firm. All right. Okay. So we have this um, concept known as the business entity concept. We state that the business and the owners are two distinct entities. All right. So if you want to talk about things internal, or if you want to talk about things internally, for yourself, you will talk about your lungs, you talk about your heart, your stomach, and everything. You wouldn't talk about your parent. Your parent is not part of you. All right. Please, do you get me? Yes, yes please, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so, owners <laughs> are not part of you. All right. So, owners are external users. All right. Please, any other question? No, sir. Yes. Any other question? No, please. Okay, may I have questions? I have plenty of questions for you. No you problem, sir. No problem. So let's proceed. All right. All right, so informational needs of users, shareholders. So, or uh, owners. So, shareholders would use the information for making investment decisions, or they will use the information to assess the future profitability and risk of the company. All right. So, if you want to invest in a company, you would need the firm's financial information to decide whether to invest or not. All right, so, sir, please, parents take care of children. Parents taking care of children doesn't mean parents are in their children. Mm -hmm. If you have an organization, it doesn't mean you are part of the organization, else the organization would always be incurring losses. All right, so you, ha you have to apply the business entity concept. So you treat the organization as a separate entity so that whenever you take from the company, you give back. Whenever you give to the company, you record as your interest. So whenever your parents give to you, whenever your mom or dad gives to you, they would record as their interest in you. All right. So we may have someone who would say, as for me, I have no parents because he has no one who gives him or her money, all right? So you can establish a firm, all right, but if you are unable to provide for the firm, you are not an owner. The owner provides for the firm, all right? So at the end of the year, you will check the, um, the equity ratio. You will check the owner's interest in the firm. If your parent has no interest in you, then you don't have a parent, all right? You only have parents when they are able to provide for you or when they are able to cater for you, all right? Parenting is not about bringing the child, all right? 
being an owner of a business is not about establishing the business. It's about establishing and treating the business as a separate entity and running the business and to see that the business becomes successful. All right, it's not just about establishing the business and leaving the business there or establish the business and be always taking from the business. You establish the business, you provide for the business, you see to it that the business is doing well, all right? And in the long run, the business would then cater for you. So you treat the business as separate or you treat the business as a distinct entity. All right, so shareholders would need the fact. Um, Daniel, your hand is up. Okay, so I don't know if this makes sense, but then about the owners not being part of the business, it's like you building a house. You provide materials for the workers to work for you, all right? But they are not part of the workers. Oh, yes. They are not yeah. part of Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So when, when, when you're building a house and you give, you provide for the workers to build the house for you, you're not part of the workers. All right. But mostly, with uh, example, with the sole proprietorship form of the um, of business organization, you realize that the owner would be working in the firm. That's why under sole proprietorship, the liability is unlimited. If the business is unable to pay its debt, they would charge the owner. Because with sole proprietorship, you know that the business, sorry, the owner works in the firm. So if the business is unable to pay the debt, they would blame the owner and they would charge the owner to pay. All right. So yeah, that's that. Let's go through the informational needs of users. So shareholders need information for investment decision to assess or to check the future profitability and risk of the company, to check the cash generating abilities of the company and the stewardship of management. And then we have that of management. So management will Oh. Please mute your phone. Um, Frank, please check the person for me. And we have management. Management who would need the information to know or to know how well to manage employees to make operating and strategic decisions and all. All right. And then we have employees to check the stability and profitability of the company to check the company's ability to provide remuneration, working conditions, what, 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 and all. All right. And then we have creditors. So creditors to would use the information to check the credit readiness of the firm. All right. And then we have governments. All right. So governments will use the information to check and determine the entity's tax liabilities. All right. And we have suppliers, suppliers, yeah, suppliers to, to check the credit worthiness of the company, because most suppliers will be selling goods on credit to the firm, all right? So if you're not credit worthy enough, the supplier wouldn't sell goods on credit to you. And then we have customers, that has to evaluate the staying power of suppliers and suppliers relationship. So of their suppliers or the firm, and the firm's relationships, all right? So that's that for informational needs of users, right? So basically we are through with the fundamentals or the introductory session of fundamentals of accounting. So if, if you want to leave Ghana to any other country, you would first be interested in knowing what they do there. All right, so now, now you want to leave your country and come into accountancy. And now you've gotten to know that in accountancy, we do accounting, all right? And if you want to do accounting, you would have to be an accountant. So you'd have to be a citizen of accountancy, all right? And there are certain keywords 
or there are certain or uh, there is this language. So in accounting or in accountancy, you'll be hearing financial information, you'll be hearing financial statements, you'll be hearing um, um, uses of information, what, 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 what. And now we've been taking through all the keywords. I've gotten to know that. Uh, oh, okay. So um, about the entity, then we're talking about business entity. So we'll be providing information about business entity or business organization. All right, with the users, uh, oh, okay. So under users, we have internal users and we have external users. Under the entity, we have um, three um, forms of classifying them. We can classify them based on ownership, based on activity, or based on profit motive. All right, when you talk about financial information, oh, okay, financial information is an information about the firms. Now, I'm going to know about the firm. It can be sole proprietorship. It can be partnership, it can be company, manufacturing firms, nonprofit organizations, and all. Oh, okay, oh, okay. So financial information. Ah, so if, if I want to get the information about the firm's financial, you see, information is not something tangible. So if you want to get information, you would have to either read, all right, or you'd have to see something happen. So if you want to, oh, okay. Now, I've gotten to know that if I want to know the financial information, then I would have to go and read the firm's financial statement. All right. So if any of the users want to know the financial information about the firm's financial or the information about the firm's financial activities, that person would have to go through the firm's financial statement. And kindly note that the financial statement will be required to be prepared by you. You are the accountant. So you'll be required to prepare the financial statement. All right. And to prepare financial statements, you take into consideration certain assumptions, certain rules, certain regulations. All right. So after getting to know what they do in the country, you would also be interested in going through the company's rules and regulations or the company's constitution. After getting to know the introduction or the introductory session here, please check your microphone if you have a noisy background, please. So after being taken through the introductory session, you would also be interested in knowing governing act accounting all right so in our next session we'll be going through the rules governing accounting all right every country has a constitution so in accountancy we have constitution so you'll be taken through the rules and the various assumptions right okay so now let's go through the Questions of the day. Question number one. What is, please, I, like I said earlier, I would always have questions for you. So question number one, what is accounting? What is accounting? Should I mention names? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, what is accounting? Um, bright entry. Bright entry. What is accounting? Bright. Okay. So let's assume that bright is absent. All right. McDaniel, what's accounting? McDaniel, please unmute your microphone. Mm -hmm. Accounting is the process of collecting, recording, summarizing, and summarizing, analyzing, and reporting financial information about an entity to the users of the information to aid them in making economic decisions. 
Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. And um, number two, what are the subfields of accounting? What are the subfields of accounting? So when I mention your name in state one, Regina Asamwa, Reggie, my name. Yes. Uh -huh. Subfield of accounting, kindly mention one. Auditing. Very good, auditing. Um, 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 Benis Etonam. Benis yes. Etonam. One subfield public of accounting. accounting. Very good, public sector accounting. Great. Sir, please, I want to ask a question. Okay, okay. I'll show. Can you ask a question? Please, the subfields of accounting, are they the same as the components of accounting? No. No, subfields are fields in accounting. Please. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Please, background, please. Please mute your microphone. Good. Um. Okay. Um, Helena Asante. Helena Asante, subfields of accounting. Helena. Okay, so let's assume that Helena is asleep. Um, Public Helena, you pardon? Public sector accounting. Someone has said that already. Taxation. Taxation, very good. Very good. And um, um, Kwaku Nyame. Kwaku Nyame. Kwaku Nyame. Yeah, Kwaku Nyame. So cost. Cost what? Cost accounting. Very good. Cost accounting. And um, Matilda Yeboa. Matilda Yeboa. Yes, or oh, is that all? Um, is that all? Yeah, it's like they've said all. Eh, okay, then component so of financial so. statement. Component of financial statement, kindly state one. Um, Martin, uh -huh. of statement of financial position. Martin Obey. Martin Obey. One component of income statement. financial statement. Very good income statement. Um, Millicent Opoku. Millicent Opoku. One component of financial statement. Statement of very good statement of cash flow. Statement cash very flow. Good. Very good. Very good. Terry Ampofo, one component. Oh, shit. Terry. Okay, so Terry is not around. Oh. Terry, are you there? Yes. Okay, sure. Component of financial statement. Notes. Very good. Notes. And um, Felix Opoku Yabwa. Felix Opoku Yabwa. Statement of change in equity. Very good. Statement of changes in equity. Number four, elements of financial statements. Zainab Sani. Zainab Sani, elements of financial statements. Zainab. 
Ok. Chelsea. Hey, Barcelona. Hey. <laughs> hey, be careful. Chelsea. Mm. Um, yeah. Elements of financial Hello. state. Yes, kindly list one. Hello. Yes. Hello. Kindly uh, mention um, assets. Very good. Assets. Very good. Very good. Assets. Very good. Very good. Deborah Mensah. Deborah Mensah. Sister Debbie. Liabilities. Very good. Liabilities. And. Um, Emanuela Sewa from Emanuela Sewa from Uh-huh. Yes, please. Revenue. Revenue. Um, 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 That's what Kwe, 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 Baron. That's Kwe, Kwe, Baron. Kwe, Kwe, Baron. Kweku Baron, are you there? Hey, Kweku Baron. K. B. Serans for Don. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Simon, equity. Equity, very good. Uh huh. Nana Kofi. And K. Nana Kofi, Nana Kofi, are that. Hey. Okay. Okay, so is that all? So we have assets, liabilities, equity, L, um, sorry, revenue and expenses. Okay, what are the various classes of business organization? The various classes of business organization. Jadeen. 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 Okay, it must amour. It must. Step, please, ownership. Very good, by ownership. Um, 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 Simon. Simon, okay, Simon. The activities. Very good activities and Isaac. Isaac Otu. Isaac Otu. Yes, I just joined the class. Pardon? I just joined the class. Wow. Okay. I'm crashing me. Okay, uh, um, uh, Mohammed Musa Mohammed Musa Mohammed. So we are by activities by uh, ownership and what Musa Mohammed. Come on, come on. one, they are Okay, so please, um, um, Manuel, Manuel, Ampe, Ampe, Chico, Manuel, please mute your microphone. You are making noise. Very good. All right. So kindly list the types of business organizations based on the classes. So let's start with activities. Activities. Who is helping us? Simon. Uh -huh. Simon. It's a manufacturing business. Very good. List all the three. Merchandise. Uh-huh. And the last one. Service rental. 
Very good. Very good. And under ownership, what and what do we have? Fair and uh -huh. knowledge. Matilda. Uh -huh. Pardon? Matilda. Okay. Kindly hold Matilda, kindly hold on. Knowledge. Uh -huh. Under ownership. We have soap proprietorship. We have partnership and we have company. Very good. Very good. And the last one, profit motive. Matilda. Um, under the profit motive. We have, Very in good. The non we have governmental organizations and non-governmental organizations. That's great that's great and then um, list and external uses of accounting information so he's helping us with internal, internal. Yeah, yes benjamin benjamin okay in very good very good very good well done, that's great. and then um, external yeah, yeah, yeah. Supplies, and I have customers. Very good, very good. All right, so please, any questions for me? No, sir. No, sir. Yes. Sir, please. Um, I would like you to um dive deep into um the types of expenditures we are the capital types of what? The, yeah. Oh expenditure. Please capital expenditure. Hello, hello, please don't worry. We are doing fundamentals. We will get there, okay? Um yeah, Do you don't worry, don't worry about that at all. We are taking everything step by step. Hello, all right. Sir. We are in step one. Hello. So subsequently, hello, sir. Pardon? Yes. Please, sir. yes. Hey. Why next? Sir? Sir, please, will you be sending the slides to the group? Uh, the issue is my slide is different from that of um, um that's the main slide. So, um, um, I can only send it to the group only if you guys assure me that you wouldn't send it anywhere else. Yes, sir. We, we, we yes, sir. We want it. yours. Yes, sir. Ble blessed assurance, sir. Are you? Okay, so, they will, they will. okay. okay so um, I, will, I, will share, I will share it after the class. And please, any other question? Okay, so like I was saying, under the accounting process, we have collecting, so accountants will be provided with, um, or you, let's start, um, substitute the accountant and use you. So you'll be provided with source documents, all right? And based on the source documents, you do the recordings in the firm's books. That's the books of accounts. That's where we do the bookkeeping. And afterwards, we do the summarizing or we do the summary by preparing control accounts and trial balance. And then write and your hand is up. Write and Hello, sir. Your hand is up. Your hand is up. Do you have any question or contribution? Question. I want to ask a question about um, the non-profit organization based right. on non-governmental. So can you say that um, association and clubs are oh, part of non-governmental oh, yes, organizations oh, yes. and trade NGOs? Unions, yes, trade unions, trade associations, and oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is it because okay. they render service and uh, um, they don't they are profit not from set up it's because they are not set up for profit motive. They are not set up to make profit. They are set up with the intention of seeking the welfare of 
their members or welfare of the public. Do you understand? Yes, please. Very good. So under the accounting process, we have collecting, we have recording, we have summarizing, all right? And now we've gotten to know that under summarizing, we'll be preparing the um, control account and trial balance. And after extracting the trial balance, we then analyze, all right, and make certain adjustments. And then we report by preparing income statement, SOFP and the rest. Dominic, I see you do your hand is up. Yes, yes, please. Um, I want to ask um, what, what, what will um, university be classified like? Will it be under governmental or non governmental organization? What? What? University. University. Where will we classify it? Okay. Oh, governmental. With governmental, we have government schools and all. So it will be part of governmental. And, but they also provide services. So why not under non governmental? Not, I said, not for profit motive not for profit not for profit we, are, we can have an organization that will be selling goods all right but not for profit we can have an organization that will be rendering service but not for profit all right so they don't have intention of making profit they have intention of serving people all right, or seeking for the welfare of people. That's all. Not for profit, but seeking for the welfare of people. Yeah, right, Henry. Right, your hand is up. Right, unmute your uh, mic. It was a mistake. Sorry. All right. Okay, so please, is there any other questions or any contribution? All right, so um, we are done for today and then tomorrow, God willing, I will take you through the various rules governing accounting. That's the accounting concept and the conceptual framework. So um, thank you very much for your time. And, it's um, the last two I, slides. I want please don't leave yet. The last and, um, two slides. Where, um, the last, uh -huh. Yeah, the information uses something, something. That particular uh -huh. slide. Yes, please. Can uh -huh. I look at it? Uh -huh. Yes, this very one. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, I think... Um, your president has something for you. So, Eben. Eben, are you there? Yes, please, I'm here. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome, bro. Yeah. Good morning once again. And uh, I just want to pass just some little information. God willing, tomorrow, as rightly said by uh, Master Izzy, you'll be having your accounting, continue your accounting classes. And that's at 8 a.m. Please make sure you come on time. Also, Wednesdays and Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 12. Remember, you have microeconomics. So please make sure you're also available for that. And you remember, we told you that the recorded sessions will be uploaded on our YouTube channel. And that's the BHJCR. If you go to YouTube, just type the Business House Junior Common Room or just type uh, the BHJCR. So that, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because all your recordings can be uploaded there. Make sure you are committed to these classes because as I said, there are a lot of packages the BHS here has for you next semester. So we want to reduce the stress you'll be going, you, might, you may be going through next semester. So please make sure you take these classes serious so that with the activities and the programs we'll be organizing next semester, you'll be able to partake. Um, lastly, in case you miss any of the lectures, Make sure you go and, um, let me say, go back to YouTube, watch them, get the understanding. If you have any questions, um, we'll try as much as we can to uh, leave the TA's contact, make it available to you. Contact them, ask your questions, and 
get the understanding of the course. It is the most important thing to us. And in case you have any challenge or any information, any questions to the BJC, our emails, our social media handles are available. We are always open to answer you. So just contact us by email bjc at st.eugene.edu.gh. You can personally contact me. I'm always available and just to always at your service. All right. Thank you very much for your time. And God willing, tomorrow we'll continue with the accounting class. Mr. Izzy, in case you have any other thing for them, we can pass it on. All right. Um, please, please note that you are not supposed to go to any unauthorized person for them to teach you. I realized that um, um, someone shared um, information concerning an accounting class and all. Please be vigilant. Please be vigilant. Like I said, relax and go by whatever your executives tell you. Do you get me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. And in case yes, you encounter, and in case you encounter any difficulty, you can contact me. All right. So um um I would okay. Okay, so kindly write down my number. Zero five five seven. Zero five five seven one three. Zero five five seven one three zero two nine eight. Zero five five seven one three zero two nine eight. If you encounter any difficulty, I'm always available. Right. Zero five five seven one three zero two nine eight. Thank you. Okay, thank you.